not about giving up things, of money and luxuries and stuff. That's right. By the time he was in his early 40s, Seneca had earned enough money to acquire villas, farms, he ate well, he loved expensive furniture, but he didn't consider that a non-philosophical way to live. It's all kind of relative, though. Oh, here we go. What? We can't get through a class without debating relativism. I just meant that luxury to some is not necessarily luxury to others. A better subject for another time. Oh, sorry. No, no, your point is well taken, but it's different than the matter at hand. What we're talking about is Seneca's choosing the better, more comfortable of two options while remaining a stoic. Thanks, this was fun. All right, for your next meeting, we'll be reading Marcus Aurelius'